first step is to determine where to put the transducer. Now I prefer to use the scupper holes and not an over the side uh, arm for this install. So when you look at the bottom of the Slayer 10, there's several holes. Both the rear and center pair of scupper holes appear to offer a reasonable protection for the transducer. Since our DIY cart utilizes the center pair of scupper holes, we'll install the transducer in one of the rear scupper holes. As you can see, the Lorentz transducer needs to go forward, and so when we put it in the scupper hole, it will be pretty much protected in that configuration. For this installation, I chose to use the Lorentz scupper hole transducer mounting system instead of one of the over the side transducer mounting arms. Okay, this is how the transducer kit uh, comes out of the package with a nice set of instructions. What we have to do is mount the the transducer using the uh, bolts and nuts and washers that came with the transducer to the bottom arm of the mounting kit. All right, one of the things that's not clearly shown on the instructions is to place the mounting bracket for the transducer in between scupper hole mounting uh, kit piece right here. On the inside, you'll put two serrated washers that come with the transducer on either side of the mounting uh, pedestal here. Then comes the bracket, and then on the outside, you have two rubber washers on, on either side, then a flat washer, and then the, the bolt and the nut. You place the plastic threaded rod, screw that in, and you can. I've pre measured uh, where to clip it off, otherwise, you're uh, threading the, the thumb screw down a whole long piece of plastic threaded rod. Put your bottom piece on, that's where the cable goes through, or the transducer cable. And you put this next piece and note that uh, there's a cutout for the transducer also uh, cable also. Then you put on the foam and push it into the hole where it's watertight. Then you put the top plate on and there is a place for the transducer cable to come out and then you put the threaded nut on and then the Lowrance cap goes on top of that. The scupper hole mounting kit is completed and it's in the rear scupper hole on the right hand side of the kayak now we're going to have to drill a hole in the side of the kayak to run the transducer cable towards the bow to where we can get it to the Lorentz fish finder. I think the right side of the kayak would be the preferred location for running your transducer cable because on the left side is the rudder control and the rudder control wires uh, would go down the left side and so you want to stay away from there, those if at all possible and, and run your cable on the, the right side of the kayak. I'm going to put the, the hole right about here and it doesn't take much. All right. Now if you can retrieve the little piece that drilled out you might save that because you never know when you might need just a little bit of the kayak material for repairs, uh, gouge filling, 
etc. I used a one inch spade bit to drill the hole and there's not much room uh, or clearance going in and coming out of the holes for these West Marine hole covers. We're going to have to fix up a special way to get them back out once we start running them through the side of the kayak. Tie paracord around the plug for the transducer and wrap it in this manner so it may be extracted from the hole more easily. Okay, here's the piece we wrapped. Well, it wasn't the second go round, it was about the third or fourth. I had to enlarge the hole just a little bit. But I got it through. And now we're going to make sure we have enough to where we can put it up to the Lorentz. All right, I have the cable pulled and excess bundled up. I think I'm going to tie the excess wire, wrap, wrap it around the rod holder on the in, inside of the kayak. Now we're going to use the West Marine bulkhead wire cap. Let me show you the back side. You need to put the inner rubber ring on your transducer cable before you put it through the the hole and that'll help seal and all you have to do now is take a screwdriver and screw these small pointy uh, screws into the kayak and secure it. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and may God bless.